In this video, let's go ahead and learn the lexical this. So what I'm going to do first is to create an object and I'm going to call this object person equals to an object. And right here, I'm going to give this object a name and let's call him Alex. And let's say that Alex has a list of cars and this is an array and he has Ferrari and he also has a Lambo just like so. And now let's go ahead and create a method called to string. And within this function right here, we will simply log Alex profile. And within this function, I'm going to log Alex, just like so, this dot and then name, as well as, and then has, and then the actual cars. So this dot and then cars. And if I now want to use this, simply say person and then dot to and then string. And if I save this, you should see that we have Alex has Ferrari and Lambo. But now let's say that I want to loop through this cars right here and pretty much print the same information. So if I simply say this and then dot cars dot for each, just like so, and then pass a function because this takes a callback. And right here, I'm going to say car and I can say log and then back ticks dollar sign curly brackets, this dot and then name and then has and then the actual car. So if I say that and let me just comment this for now, if I save this now, you see that we get an error and we have an error. And the error says cannot read property name of undefined. So what's going on here is that we have lost the context of the this keyword. So this dot name no longer refers to this name right here. And often if you wrote a lot of JavaScript, the way to fix this is simply by writing this ugly code by saying bind and then this. If I save this, this works as expected, or sometimes you may have used the this or um, sometimes they say the that pattern, which is simply to store the reference of the this keyword. So I'm going to say that equals to this. And now instead of saying this dot name, I can say that and then name. So I'm referring to this name right here. And we have an error and that's because I've missed here the parenthesis, just like so. If I save this, this should also work and you can see that it works. But this is ugly code and we are learning about ES6. So the easiest way to fix all of this really, and we already have learned about the arrow function, right? So the easiest way to fix this is simply to place an arrow function right here. And in this way, we bind to the actual object of the this keyword. So if I save this, you see that our code works as expected. So this is something that you have to bear in mind is that sometimes if you lose the context of the this keyword, you can use arrow functions. And in fact, because I'm using arrow functions, I can remove that. So if I save this, you can see that it's, it's working and nothing changed. But right here, if I now place an arrow function, you will see that the application breaks. And that's because the for each, so right here, so this dot cars is undefined. So we lost the context of the, this keywords and we don't know which person cars we are referencing to. So this is something that you have to bear in mind whenever you use arrow functions, but most likely you will not have any problems. So just let me put it back as it was before. You see that the code works as expected. This is it for this video. If this was a bit confusing, please let me know and I can give you some other examples. Join me in the next video. See ya.